Hello Paper Crafters. As promised, I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of how to use the Joy Crafts cutting and embossing stencils in your cuddle bug. Or you'll get the idea with any machine you can use these. You just have to change your mats or shims and stuff to, to get it the best way you want. Um, it's true of all dies. All machines pretty much you can use your um, stencils in it's, or dies. You just have to figure out the appropriate sandwich. But since Cuddlebug seems to be what most of my customers have, that I'm going to show you how to do it. You take your A plate, put that down, put a B plate down, and for this I'm going to show you, you already know how to cut using the C plate for cut and the B from my other videos. Go look at the Nellie Snellen dies. It's, it's very similar. But uh, Joy Crafts has these um, magnet, um, magnetic uh, mats that I'm going to demo to use this with because this will be new. You have seen me cut before and emboss so this will be a little bit new on how to do that. There's two sizes. This is this size right here is number 41. It's the longer thinner one and this one is number 40. It's more rectangular. Prices will be on my blog because as I've been telling um, my customers before my prices are changing so quickly because it seems like everything's going up rapidly, so I have to put my prices on my blog now so I can change them more easily. I will give you a good deal on these, though, so please check it out. I always do when I introduce something, I, I give it a good deal. So I put my rectangle mat down. That's magnetic. What's nice, magnetic, and it sticks. And then you put your die down, cut side up, and then put your paper on there. I have noticed with these dies that thicker paper works better um, than the thinner paper. It embosses better and it cuts better. So then we take our cuddle bug and we run it through. It runs nice and easy. That magnetic mat is just right. They did make that for the cuddle bug. Joy crust. And then you just kind of, what I did is I lifted my excess off because now I want to emboss this. And what you do is you keep that there and you take some kind of silicone um, mat that you have. I just have that tan one that everyone has. Though I hear that Joy Crafts may have their own and I might be able to get those. And then you put that mat right over in another B plate. So we have an A, a B, the die with the paper in it. Oh, and a tip I want to give you is if your paper pops out of this die, you can see it's really secure in there now. It's not moving around. If it pops out, start again. Toss your paper and start again because when that paper flops out, this embossing, it pulls the paper, shifts it, it, it creates a terrible embossed image. So if it does pop out, if you'd like to have my advice, start again so it's nice and secure in there. You just run your die through. And this is a little tougher. That silicone that really makes it tight. And then you simply just take it off. It'll be embossed. Oh, came right off onto my mat. And there we go. Take off the excess cut pieces. There's a few um, little dots here. I'd want to get those out. My handy tweezers, my favorite, one of my favorite tools. Uh, and there. And you can see how simple that was and what a beautiful embossed design that creates. Well, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please go to my blog and just ask. I'll answer because I'm sure if you have a question, others have a question too. Hope you like these new um, cutting and embossing dies. I'm really excited. They are have just been brought back to the United States. Joy Crafts did have them in the United States, and then they stopped shipment, and now they've allowed to get them back in. So again, there are 30 total. If you go to my blog, you can see the ones I have for sale, but I can get you any of the 30 that you may like. It'll just take me a, maybe a week or two to get them in, but I will order them happily for you. Have any questions, just give me a buzz. Take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.